customer thought I was lying about the rules because we do have certain rules about stealing and stuff and you know precautions finds another co-worker of mine and they asked them hey is this rule true and there's they said yes so I was just like really you thought I would lie about that if you're that pressed about rules and regulations then it's obvious that you were gonna steal. Is that obvious? Because if you're that pressed about it, then you were gonna do it. People who don't steal, they're cool with it. They understand. They're like, oh, okay, yeah, it's no problem. Yeah, I know. There was a bunch of times where they overworked me, but making me cover both sides of the store. Both sides. It's already enough work doing one side of the store. I had to go back and forth. Customer over here, customer over there, customer is getting impatient over here. <sighs> this one, I'm surprised that I didn't throw up. I really should have vomited on this customer because, ew. He starts off by complimenting my highlights that I had my makeup that day. And after I said thank you, he asked me if I wanted to join him in a gangbang. Just, just by talking about this, I want to vomit because why are you so disrespectful to employees and i said employees to a woman in public just why and no i don't want to join get your stussiness out of here i can't believe he asked me that are you kidding me but i was like no and i just walked away so as i'm walking away he was like okay have a good day you just ruined it what do you mean have a good day you're just ruined my whole day by being a pervert what is wrong with you do you have two brain cells left? Because it seems like it. He was dressed in the suits. Like he was, doesn't seem like he'll be that type of guy to, to ask that kind of question, but. <sighs> so disgusting, bruh. Don't, don't ask me that. I was, I was trying to process what had just happened. I was just like, ew. What made you think it was okay to say that? This one is about a coworker. When I first met her, she seemed very bitter, very angry. And every time she would look at me, I would just see like the darkness in her eyes when she would like, her eyes would be gleaming at me and just be like full of hatred or something. She's really, really old. So I was just like, okay, maybe it's just the menopause. Every time I talked to her, she would give me attitude. A couple times I asked to borrow her keys because I didn't have any. And she was like, don't you have your own keys? So after that, I was just like, you know what? I would rather not have keys than bug her for keys because- I don't like dealing with rudeness. After I had left that part of the store I and mean, they put me somewhere else, all of a sudden, like during that time away from her, her whole personality changed. Like she became this whole new person. Like she was actually being nice now. She tells me in the break room, I see her one time in the break room. Um, I was on my lunch break. And she told me, you were really helpful on this side. You, you are heaven sent. I, I miss you being over there. You helped me so much. And I'm just like, I'm thinking, is she okay? Is she on drugs? Is she drunk right now? Cause like, I've never seen this side of her. I, she was never like this before. Why this sudden change? Who are you? You're not the same person that I met. We're cool now. Shockingly. I always thought she hated me, but I mean, I don't think I'm ever going to ask her. I don't know what happened or maybe she was dealing with something personal and she took it out on me. During this time, I had dyed my hair like a forest green, like a dark green up here. So the dye was fresh and you could, you could see it on my scalp. This random guy that walked by, he was like, is your skin blue? And I was like, no. He just stood there staring at me and I was just like, okay, anyway, because I had, I had other customers with real questions and I couldn't waste time. Like I had to help people. So don't ask me dumb questions and then just stare at me there's this lady that stops by like every other week she wants the brightest and boldest makeup like she has to have 
a bold blush it's like super hot pink because she says it looks the best on her and that it had to be a cream blush it couldn't be powder she was very picky with what she wanted i'm just so she took me like aisle to aisle and i was just like oh hurry up i try to avoid her and let my co-workers help her instead because that is very time consuming i thought i was picky there was this old man who rides his bike around the store nobody told him anything this one is very interesting and unexpected my childhood bully becomes my customer ironic this girl used to bully me in elementary school i can't believe she didn't recognize me the good thing that i hide my name tag or else she definitely would have known it was me i recognized her she was grown it was funny she came here to buy makeup and i was just like i have to help my childhood bully i wish i could have kicked her out of the store or something i wish i could have told her off or something but i was on the clock so i couldn't really do anything I put on my fake customer service voice and I just, I handled that. I have these two older lady customers and I wear my mask at work. So I said something to them, something about the price, I think. And one of them said, I can't hear you with that ugly crap on your face. In my mind, I wanted, I wanted to just be like, wow, that was rude. And I wanted to walk away, but no. I just looked at her and I was I just looked at her and I didn't say anything but like wow you don't have to be rude I'm here trying to help you there was this old lady who refused service my service just because I was young she wanted someone around her age to help her she didn't want a young girl helping her so I was like okay sure and I just walked away okay fine I didn't realize that I had to be old to help you. There was this old couple who wanted to buy an item, a certain item, that was only made in Germany. You come here shopping in the States and you expect there to be made in Germany items? How dumb could you be? Yeah, after, after I had told them that we don't have items from Germany, they left. Again, with an old man. He asked me if I was 13. And here it's not legal to work if you're 13. I'm in my 20s. So after I tell him I'm 24, he was like, nah, you're 13. And he didn't even have a real question to ask me for help. He, it was just nonsense, basically. So I'm just standing there waiting for him to ask me a real question. So and then he was like, so you're 13. I'm just, have a good day. And I walked away, and then he was like, yes, ma'am. Tired of people wasting my time if you don't have an actual question. If I was 13, I would not be working. I would be in school. Is you dumb? But anyway. I know that I look younger, but like 13, really? No 13-year-old is going to be working. 